All right, the continuation of this Zyvac and his skull. Here we are in the prep lab. We've got our jacket setting in our prep lab box. These Oh. I'll put one of these down. Glass doors come down. Luke and I built this contraption. You see the big suction hoses? Plugs into another prep lab box there. Anyway, so we got a nice vacuum that works in there. We got lights in there. Uh, triceratops. You can see with the rugosity in here in the skeleton yeah. this is i believe part of where the uh, base of where one of the horns we go i don't know what piece i'm not really familiar with trikes that much i've worked on them but i know that's part of where the horn is and i recognize the uh the texture of the bone always has this nice rugosity on it. anyways back to our fossil so we're going to cut this out Around down along the edges, just a little ways underneath that edge, all the way around. We'll just use the handsaw since we're inside. You can use a chainsaw. Be careful, it just makes a lot of dust and dirt. This is what your basic prep lab looks like. You would have your uh, unit here that you do your cleaning in, and right there is a micro blaster. And it's just exactly what it is. It's a little uh, miniature sandblaster, only we use stuff like uh, baking soda and fine powders like uh, glass or, you know, I think there's, you can get some glass beads or metal sometimes. We use uh, baking soda an awful lot when cleaning off uh, fossils. You'd be surprised coming out of that little hose. Where's the end of it at? Oh, here we go. Right here, you can see. little end so this is what your basically your lab looks like uh, the fish head that we're working on is of course a Zyphacnus which is one of these big guys this is handy that this is out right here right here this looks like to be what what is that a 10 footer these fish got to be up to 20 foot long you can see closely here at the vertebrae about two inches I've seen vertebrae three times the size out there and just like the vertebrae on the skull that we're working on look as you get closer to the skull the vertebrae become more round and robust see look at that difference right there you're getting close to the skull back in there nice round hard back off a little bit here so you can see you definitely would not want to get bitten by this guy. So, anyway. Neat little fish. So this is what you're basically a, a lab looks like. It's a... Yeah. <laughs> Projects all over the place. Different various dinosaur bones and a lot going on. So... I'm going to go ahead and cut into this and uh, we'll show you later on after we break some away what we're looking at. Alright, hope you're enjoying it. 